Segments allow you to create dynamic groupings of your subscribers according to their shared behaviors or qualities. In this video, we're going to create a 30-day engaged segment using the Segment Builder. More specifically, you will learn how to create a segment definition, add conditions to that definition, and use and or connectors. This segment will be made up of people who are in your main email list and have engaged with your emails in the last 30 days. This is a great segment to send your weekly newsletter or other regular communications to. Before we dive in, if you're enjoying this video, make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any future content like this. Now, let's get started. First, navigate to Audience on the left-hand navigation menu. Then, click Lists and Segments. Here you can see all your existing lists and segments. To create a new segment, click Create New, and then Create Segment. You'll be taken into the Segment Builder, where you should give your segment a name. You can also optionally add tags to your segment. Your next step is to define who should be in your segment by adding conditions. Conditions are criteria that someone will have to fulfill in order to be added to the segment. When you click on this field, a dropdown will appear with a number of conditions to choose from. Before we go further, it's important to note that instead of selecting one of these conditions, you can use our Segments AI feature to create the segment in just a few seconds. To do so, all you'd have to do is type what you wish to create in this field and click on your text when it appears under the words Define with AI. Once you do so, Clavia will automatically generate a segment based on your prompt that you can refine as needed. For the purposes of this video though, let's continue building a segment from scratch so you can understand how to use the functionalities within the Segment Builder. The first condition I'm going to select for our 30-day Engage segment is if someone can or cannot receive marketing. I only want to include people who have subscribed to email marketing. Next, Click Add Condition. You'll see here I have a choice to select and or or before moving on to the next condition. If I select and, that means that both conditions must be true in order for someone to be added to this segment. Meanwhile, if I select or, that means only one of the conditions must be true for a profile to join this segment. In this case, choose and to ensure that all profiles in this segment fit the criteria for both of my conditions. I now want to include only those who have opened an email in the last 30 days. Select opened email as the metric and update the rest of the condition to read at least once in the last 30 days. Similarly, I want to include those who have clicked at least one email in the last 30 days. Opening and clicking an email are both considered engagement metrics. So, I only need profiles in this segment to have done one of them to qualify as engaged. For this reason, I'm going to select the OR connector. From the drop-down, select what someone has or has not done. Select clicked email as the metric. Update the rest of the condition to read at least once in the last 30 days. 
The last engagement criteria to add will ensure that someone who subscribed to email marketing in the last 30 days will also be included in this segment. Select an OR connector. Since only one of the three total engagement criteria needs to be true for a profile to qualify as engaged in the last 30 days. From the dropdown, select if someone is or is not in a list. Adjust the statement to read, person is in your main email list. Click on the add filter icon to narrow your criteria by a bit more information. Update the final line to read, and was added in the last 30 days. To recap, your 30-day engaged segment now includes any profiles that are subscribed to email marketing and have either opened one email in the last 30 days, clicked one email in the last 30 days, or subscribed to email marketing in the last 30 days. When you're done, click Create Segment at the top, and you're good to start using this segment in Klaviyo. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, subscribe, and check out the description for more resources to help you learn and grow with Klaviyo.